Yep, here we are again, out on the trail. Same day as uh, the last video I shot. And like I said, just kind of relaxing, just driving around, checking everything out, just kind of just, just trying to get away from the city and hanging out with my kids. It's just nice and peaceful. Clouds. Got a little bit of clouds rolling in. So all that area over there is all Mendocino and National Forest. I don't think the camera's picking it up quite yet, but and, uh... yeah. So this region, I don't know. I'm trying to point it out. It's off over there. It's all Mendocino. Pretty isolated out here. I didn't realize. So I came out here with a group of friends. Like I said two weeks ago. I know I like to repeat myself. But um, they were telling me like Clear Lake's only like 20 something miles away from here. I didn't even know that. Here I'm thinking Clear Lake is, you know, freaking 50 60 miles away, but no, totally off, man. So, yeah, that uh, the coolest thing that I picked up that I was happy about getting because it was actually really hard to get, believe it or not, and the damn thing costed me like 600 bucks or close to it was the drive shaft. The drive shaft was um, something I was always concerned about. I was always fearful of just disintegrating my aluminum drive shaft on the trail because I've hit it a couple of times on uh, rocks. I don't know exactly where and when I've hit it, but I know I have. There's dents, big gashes, and it's like, if you lose that drive shaft out here, because I don't run, I don't have an extra one, if you lose the drive shaft, man, you're uh, you're kind of you're really screwed. Honestly, I mean, for lack of better terms, you're just you're shit out of luck. I mean, you could drive home and four wheel drive high. That won't be an issue. But um, I mean, I don't know. It probably is detrimental to you know your gears and everything, but. Yeah, it's something that I was always fearful of, and I had a hard time trying to find it. I know 589 uh, Fabrications used to sell it, and I used to always try to, like, I don't know, go on their website and try to find it, but then I guess they stopped. I don't know what happened, but they, uh, they stopped selling it, I'm assuming. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, leave a comment down below if, uh, if I'm incorrect. But, um... Yeah, I, I don't know. I uh, took a while for me to obtain one. I finally got one. It was hell getting it because it uh, got some motorcycles behind me. But yeah, it just uh, took a long time because it went back to the location that is or the origin, the original location. It ended up going back there to the from to the seller, and then they reshipped it out again. I don't know what's up with FedEx, man. They're they just have been dropping the ball like on packages I ordered some stuff through rough country a few months ago and uh, it ended up they ended up uh, losing the package and I had to like call the company and they had to resend it and like expedite the shipment because I was going away on a uh, trip somewhere and I, I kind of needed that you know the other tow hooks that came on this thing previously or the original tow hooks were just garbage so uh, I um, I needed that big time, man. Really, I did. So that was kind of unfortunate. But yeah, I don't know, man. I don't mean to talk shit about FedEx, man, but they're dropping the ball big time. And uh, it's kind of upsetting, you know. My package came back, and I finally got it, but it was just destroyed. No, barely any box left, and I thought for sure... You know, I know it's a drive shaft that can handle a lot of abuse, but it was, I was surprised that it was still in okay shape and condition. I thought maybe for sure it was going to have missing pieces and stuff, but it didn't. Everything was cool. But yeah, so, no, I don't know, but that's it pretty much. Oh, this is all mud pit stuff, dude. I don't want to go through here. 
I hate cleaning mud, guys. I know my boy Rick, he loves it. He loves mud. He's, he, if he was to come back in a different life, he would be a little pig. I know it. Ricky is a total piggy. You know, all the way. He loves rolling around in mud and stuff. Anyway. All right, that's it. I'm just talking. My kids don't want to talk to me, so I'm just talking to, to you guys. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you later.